Welcome, this is Warren Bile with Dell Tech Center, and I have with me here uh, Chris Miner, who is with uh, Dell IT, and today we want to talk about deploying uh, the XPS 13 in the Enterprise. Uh, you've probably heard about it, this is uh, one of the uh, Ultrabooks, and it's a beautiful system a lot of people are talking about, specifically, how do I use this in the Enterprise? And so, Chris is responsible for client deployments here at Dell, and so we're going to talk about that. So, Chris, what is Dell's plan for deploying the XPS 13 internally? Yeah, so we've gotten a lot of really great buzz on this device uh, from our executive leader, leadership down through some of the uh, remote uh, road warriors. So we're definitely going to have support for this inside. Yeah, that's great to hear. So, obviously, you're, you're probably used to, in all the models that you support internally at Dell, the latitude, the precision, the optiplex, those, those uh, enterprise class systems. This being an XPS, are, are you still able to deploy this like uh, the, other, the other types? Absolutely. So, you know, our standard delivery methods such as CFI, such as remote media builds, such as on-the-wire builds, we're still going to be able to support with this, with this model. Oh, that's great news. So let's talk a little bit about, um, you know, maybe, maybe some tips that you can share with enterprise customers that are trying to do the same thing you're doing here at Dell. What, what can you share? Yeah, one of the first things that we found was, of course, since this is a wireless model, that you would have to include some type of a USB NIC uh, like we have here uh, in order to go ahead and uh, support those on-the-wire builds. If you can support wireless builds or media builds, then it's probably, probably not that much of a concern, but a vast majority of what we do is actually on-the-wire. Right, okay, and I'm sure that's probably typical with a lot of other uh, companies that they do a lot of on the wire builds because of the amount of data that has to be transferred. Absolutely, absolutely. One of the other things that we found were, uh, of course, you know, with our latitude line, our optiplex line, we typically use the combo caps for driver support internally. Um, since this is a uh, consumer class system, we actually need to go out there and get the drivers off of Dell.com and then consume them into a driver package for us to consume. Well, it seems like there's a lot of uh, demand for this, and so we'll try to get those drivers uh, put into the combo cab to help people out. Excellent, excellent. Great. Uh, one of the other things that we uh, stumbled upon was, and actually it's one of the great features, is you've got USB 2.0 and 3.0 on this, on this device. Oh, wow, both. 2.0 on the left, 3.0 on the right. Okay. thing to just keep in mind, if you want to use the ports on the right, since Windows nor WinPE have native support for 3.0, you want to make sure you include that driver as part of your driver store. Um, or you can just go ahead and use the ports on the left-hand side. You know, if you've just got a single device, plug it, plug it in. If you have multiples, maybe just go ahead and get a, a USB hub. Oh, great, yeah. Well, that's fantastic. That's some great tips, Chris. Hey, thanks for watching, and we're going to continue this conversation either with uh, another conversation here with Chris with some more details, or you can hop out to DellTechCenter.com and jump in the forums there and uh, continue the conversation there. Thanks for watching.